that's not Snow Little Kitty. It seems like you got dander in your fur, just like humans get dandruff. No. Well, that's the answer our smart audience are looking for as well. Hey friends, in today's episode, let us explore the reasons behind dandruff and look into the ways to treat them by answering an itchy question. What causes dandruff? Zoom in! Dandruff is another name for a condition called seborrheic dermatitis in which our scalp sheds skin cells in the form of yellow or white flakes. It's very common in kids, teens and adults alike and is usually harmless. But it could be a little embarrassing especially for those who may already be self-conscious about their looks. But the vital question is, what is responsible for this head-scratching awkward condition? Well, for that, we need to peekaboo into your head and look for a crawling creature, a kind of yeast called Malassezia globosa, living rent-free into your scalp, surrounded by an abundant supply of food. This tiny monster is found in around half of the human population and his lifestyle is majorly responsible for causing dandruff on our bodies. Let us see how. You see, the human body is home to billions of microbes. The Malassezia fungus starts living on us shortly after we are born and its favorite room is the hair follicles from where the hair pops out on our body. These cavities have glands that discharge an oil called sebum, responsible for lubricating and strengthening our hair. And to know more about it, check our video, How Does Your Hair Grow? The link is in the description below. Now, when it comes to malassezia, it likes to feed on our skin's proteins and oils. And as our scalp is the oiliest spot on our body, it makes a perfect breeding ground for these yeast to thrive there, causing dandruff. You see, sebum is composed of both saturated and unsaturated fatty acids. But for some reason, Malassezia likes to feed only on saturated fatty acids leaving the unsaturated ones behind. These uneaten substances are then soaked into our skin, which opens its barrier, allowing water to discharge out. The body immediately reacts to this discharge and activates the defense mechanism, causing the inflammation responsible for our itchy heads. Then, it activates the skin cells to reproduce for repairing the damaged barriers. You see, typically, our epidermis, which is the outer layer of the skin, completely replaces itself in around three weeks. During this process, the cells divide, move upwards and die as they dry up and shed away without anyone noticing it. But when it comes to dandruff, cells generate and die too fast to heal the damaged parts. This gives cells less time to mature and differentiate properly, resulting in forming greasy clumps around the hair follicle that are shed as white flakes. And that's how one tiny fungus and our body's reaction to repair the damage causes embarrassing dandruff. But the vital question is, what can we do to get rid of it? Well, many cases of mild dandruff can be treated just by shampooing every day with a gentle antifungal shampoo. This will reduce oiliness and keep dead skin cells from building up. But remember my friends, not everything works for every person. So you may need to experiment until you find the one that works for you. And if the problem persists, please visit your doctor. Trivia time! Did you know you can get dandruff on your face and body too? 
yes, dandruff is not just limited to your head but can grow on other areas of your body including the eyebrows, eyelids, ears, crease of the nose, back of the neck, armpits, groin and belly button. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me Dr. Binox zooming out. Never mind. <laughs>